Look who we've got in front of us today. We've got John and Kate plus Stephanie. <laughs> it's like John and Kate plus eight. No, it's just me. <laughs> Hi. So I'm so excited that you guys get to join me this morning. I've been watching your TikTok adventures, your Instagram adventures, and it does, you're right. I'll start following one and I'm like, wait, but this one has a little bit more and this has more. And now you're going to do a YouTube. Yeah. Now yes, we're please. Adding on YouTube. So, John, talk to us about the origin story of Flashback the Bus. <laughs> so, uh, our bus is a 1953 GM uh, 5106 yep. transit bus originally ordered for the New Jersey Red and Tan Lines. After its service, a mechanic uh, from the New Jersey Red and Tan Lines bought it. He kept it, maintained it, and then a local band in Rhode Island had it for a little bit. They used it as a tour bus. Then our previous owner bought it, used it as a glorified shed, parked it in the woods, that's where she sat for the last wow. 12 years. That's insane. So you see this on Facebook Marketplace while you're on vacation. And you're like, babe, let's go do this. Yep. <laughs> this one. Pretty okay. Much, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are times. He's totally been like, we should totally buy this. Look at this. Like one time he wanted a fire truck. I did put that down. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not completely crazy. But the bus, I mean, I couldn't say no. Well, the thing, the only thing that would keep me from said project, because I am very much like when we're on an adventure and we're going to go do something, we did the same thing. My hubby and I had a pop-up tent coming yeah. back from Nickerson, saw one of my friends post their camper, and I was like, let's just get it because we, we've we outgrown it. I know yeah. exactly that feel, that space. There she sat for years and years, and we're <laughs> waiting for that run out, and I keep watching all these Pinterest things, and I keep watching all these things for design, and here you are just actually doing it, so I'm super jealous. I'm hoping watching all your videos is going to let a fire under my own ass <laughs> to get stuff done, but I think the real story is you two finding a hobby to do as a family on the Cape when you're already stretched thin for time to work, to provide for your family. And, and you're young. You're not retired where you're like, oh, we have 20 hours to kill today. What are we doing? Right, right. I mean, <clears throat> we, like you said, we want to do something as a family. And we do actually include the entire family in this. Yeah, I'm watching. It's great. Yeah. So, like, Olivia, she's helped. Noah's helped. My mom helps. His dad helps every weekend. Yeah. So. I see her. So your dad's the mechanic. He works at uh, Don's. Auto Cosmetics and Brewster, and he, is are you leaning on him a lot more, or is he letting you take the reins? Uh, well, him and I have built a lot of cars, so what he normally does is he handles all of the body work. That's really his, okay. his specialty, whereas I handle more of the mechanic side. So we're a good tag team. So he's going through the body, getting the doors set, starting, starting the paint process, and I'm going through the mechanical systems. I love it. And is that how you normally work together when you started? When do you, did you start working on cars with dad? I started at my uncle's shop uh, probably around age 10 or so, sweeping floors. Yep. And then I started doing uh, body work there, and then I started taking over the mechanic stuff there. Yep. And that led me to start my, start my own uh, photo company. And that's how I transitioned out of that. I love the entrepreneurial ship here on Cape Cod. I feel like we have to be that, oh, always totally. flexing and moving and, and going where we're needed and our skills are. So I love that you are were already doing that and had this specific skill set. So oh. your mom's watching, by the way. Hi, Susan. Hi, Mom. Thanks for watching the kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I appreciate that. What has been the biggest challenge for you so far mechanically, John? Um, probably the biggest challenge would be the uncertainty of the motor. Mm. We had no idea it was freshly rebuilt. That was a really nice surprise. Oh, yeah. You're like, but what? This yeah. motor sat uncovered for years. We had no idea if it was seized. We had no idea if it would turn over. But it's solid. Yeah. It's, uh, it's the cleanest 671 Detroit diesel we've ever seen. That's another thing that I we should mention was he said it was uh, sitting uncovered in, for years. And it, it it has been. Not only... Were their doors missing on the back of the bus? Yeah. The back window was crushed in. And because the windows, those back windows were crushed in, right above that is where the air intake is. Correct. So every single time it was raining, the possibility uh, of water getting yeah, into the rust engine. Bucket. Yeah. No. So that's pretty incredible. I watched you guys build your own custom windows. That was that was pretty neat. Yeah. Someone was like, but wait, how'd you do that? You're like, uh, 
<laughs> Follow my TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> So fun. Hey, Sue, how are you? Sue Fergru is a, a photographer here on the Cape. She's got her little calendar. You also do photography, but you're so busy with that. And then now you're doing social media stuff, which y- the explosion of your social media. Talk to me about that incredible experience, Kate, and what that was like to have people find you. And all of a sudden you just look at your phone and you have 9 million people following you. You're like, I live in Brewster. What's happening? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I mean... We, the whole reason I even just started filming our process with the bus is because this isn't our first project. We've taken on a lot of different projects and we've had friends who've been like, oh my God, guys, would you just film what you do? Yeah. Like, we want to see it. We love it. You guys are amazing. Just film it. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. And I finally talked him and his dad into letting me film and I started posting it thinking just our friends and family are going to be interested. Right. And then we posted what I called the sad bus video, <laughs> and it instantly just exploded. I mean, seriously, though, like h- the hundreds of thousands of randos, like, hey, this from is cool. All over the world. I have people being like, hi, from Istanbul. I'm like, hey. what? <laughs> <laughs> like, babe, we should go to Turkey. And not only are you renovating this bus, you're renovating your home yeah. What the hell is wrong with you two? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a project. I, saw, I was Love like, why is she project. doing countertops? Is that countertops for the bus? No, wait, that's countertops for their freaking house. Okay, so. The amount of chaos, I would I would be breathing into a bag. <laughs> I, I, I would. It's a lot. Okay, so we bought our house August 2019. This house had a, what, 40-foot drop in the back. Hey, yeah. Dave. Hey, Michael. So we cleared the lot out back because we have like an acre and a half and half of it was just a giant hole. Yeah, about 45 feet deep. 45 deep. Yeah. So we cleared that. Now we're filling that in. So our entire backyard is a <laughs> Death large trap. sand pit for adults, <laughs> as I like to joke. Um, and then as that was happening, just as COVID hit, our bathroom in our main section of the house started to fall in. So when we opened that up, we realized that the entire back half of the house was collapsing. I would lose my mind. I really we would. Did. Even little projects around the house, I get so frustrated when they're not complete in a certain amount of time. But to have all of them at once, and then like the kids, like that, that would make me mental. <laughs> it was. It was a. It was a project. Um, oh. There were times where I was just like, I can't do this. So we don't have any. We have nothing. This is completely stripped. But somehow we managed to get it done right before Christmas that year. But it was. It started, what, we started that in June and was done by December. I mean, that must leave very little time for you two to be able to do anything other than this, the projects. Yeah, That's, it really did. Like your life is a project at Our one point. Our life is a project. <laughs> I used to joke that our our date nights consisted of, you know, long romantic walks down the Home Depot aisles. So. Oh, God, the amount of times, the Home Depot. We had, like, a couple of things going on in this house, and it was, like, every single day going to the D- Cheapo Depot, and I'm like, not again, not again. Don't make me go there. Right? I can't. <laughs> right? If we didn't go to Home Depot, it was like, oh, well, it's the fifth time to ace down the street today. Yeah. I, you Thank even, you, Brewster Ace. You even filmed yourself <laughs> going into your favorite yes. store, as you called it, as the Brewster Ace. You're like, here we are again. Did you miss us? It's been 20 minutes. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> But you do have family to lean on, which I think is really, really important. Your mom is very helpful. Your dad is really helpful. I mean, it does take a village when it comes to being able to do projects like this. Oh, my God, And just maintain anything, life in this town. So they're in Brewster. They're filming all of this. You've got people from Istanbul. You had three of your British people like, what time is that? I can't get up that early. (laughs) I was like, uh... It's on the internet. It's forever. <laughs> You'll be able to see it. But I, you really do have amazing fans that are like rooting for you and ha- enjoying this journey with you. So that yeah. has to give you that spark of excitement a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. So when, we fir- when I start- first started posting the videos, um, there's a guy who reached out to me and was asking me questions being like, so does your husband know what he's doing? 
And I'm like, like I hope yeah, so. Yeah, he does. I it's okay. And I'm like, try I normally don't typically answer people cuz you know, stranger danger, but right. I somehow managed to just be like, no, I think I'll answer this one even though I was still really leery about it. Well, because and that's the, the yeah. He's been amazing. He's out in Michigan at some point where it's going to be one of our trips yep. to go visit him, but he is a diesel mechanic and he has been helping us That's awesome. through a lot of the diesel mechanic part because even though he is a mechanic, he doesn't typically work on diesels. I like that you're highlighting the community aspect of social less the troll aspect of social. Oh yeah. There it's it's 90% good stuff. I think so too. It, you know, every now and then you get somebody who's a troll, but it's you just let it go. The sour grapes are a bad day that day or somebody that just likes to stir the pot just cuz there are those people out there always. I feel like a lot of people are anxious about social because of that aspect. I think so too. I, I really do. I think that's a lot of reasons why people don't do it is because you see so much about the trolls and how they tear people down. But really, we've had nothing but good feedback. That's awesome. Do you find it overwhelming at times though to deal with all of that? Like what's your worst day look like? A hundred percent. It gets to a point where with a video where there are so many comments that I just I just stop responding because like you can't. Yeah. I could spend all I would be there all day mm -hmm. just looking at my own. And I'm like, I got other clients right. I gotta deal with. I can't be sitting here dealing with my own stuff. Well that's it. So you're now you're like, well, this went off so well. So now we are doing social media management. But John, you were already a photographer to begin with. Correct. Yeah. So you've got the aspect of the photos and the social and You've got your handle on the way the algorithms now work. Yep. yep. Uh, for for today, and I'm sure you'll f figure it out next time as well. It's just one of those changing things. So if you're looking to take that burden off of your own business and you're watching. I'm your girl. Yes. Yes, <laughs> definitely. So we'll drop in the chat how to find people. Good morning, Mark. Thanks for checking in. Uh, how f people can find you. Make sure that you come back to the live and drop all of your links. Oh, yeah. Because I, I want people to follow your adventure. And also, if they need your services in any way, shape, or form, I'm sure you're d this won't be your in your dad's last project. No. no. <laughs> no. Uh, actually, after this, we're going to paint her 66 Mustang. Yep. And then we're going to paint my red uh, red bat. Well, Even yours your is more than just a... Paint job. Paint yeah, job. but that's a little bit of a secret until the next the next video. That's yeah. awesome. I'm so excited for this. Even your mom was like, no more projects, though, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> mom, it's not going to happen. clear the decks. <laughs> 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 Anything else that you want people to know about the stuff that you're working on right now? Well, it. I can promise you the videos are not going to stop with the bus. We I have love it. other things to film. They tell bad jokes. John looks so super annoyed. John's like actively working and she's over here telling bus jokes, which I think is hysterical. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I, have, I have one planned for today. And I love the misadventures, but I also like that you're in there too. Like, all right, I'll help out. I'll, I'll, you seem to do the, clan, the cleaning and the sanding often. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's my role for now. I do. I can help with other things, but when it comes to the car mechanics part, are you learning about it though? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. No, she she's being very very humble, but she she knows a lot at at this point. Um I wouldn't say she could rebuild an engine completely, but she can definitely take apart almost any component on that bus herself. That's amazing. And Lisa. Put it back together. No, they don't live on the bus. They're just working on the bus. They live in a home that they're also working on. So Lisa is also going through some sort of phase where she's redoing everything all at once. <laughs> everything all at once right now happening. Fresh and beginnings. <laughs> It totally is, and it's just making me laugh because she's like, can't come over contractors. Got this going on. This is a problem. Can't like every day is a new routine pro I can't live like that. My husband's like loves it, thrives in it. Like, what's what next chaotic thing can I build a system for? He's that guy. Me, I'm like, oh, I kick it up. I'm so, I'm so hyperventilating. Yeah, no, we're not living in the bus. We don't plan to live in the bus at all. We just really wanted to have something to travel with our family in. And it's, that's it. It's an adventure, though, because, I mean, once that thing... And do you have an end date? Do you have, like, an ETA? Yes. You're like, okay, this is happening. October. Really? Yep. Yeah. And I love we're, that. We're pretty much right on point or even farther along. Yep. 
So, like, what what is your first adventure that you plan on taking? Well, we're going to keep it very local. Um, it's 69 years old. Yeah. I don't want to go Nickerson all the way. Nickerson it is. Um, <laughs> I don't want to go all the way out west or all the way down south for our first trip. So we'll probably go to Nickerson for the first one and yep. maybe Normandy Farms for the second. Oh, we'll nice. In New England. That way, if I do break down, I can call Buckler's Towing Service or yep. I can call my own dad with our own rig and he can come get us. Yeah. Yep. Um, but for at least the first year, we're going to stay local. And then after that, once it's tried and true, we're going to probably go down south, out west. We're going to try to take a trip uh, to Michigan, to Canada, et cetera. Oh, yeah. Cliff will jo- definitely enjoy if you ever need an extra hand. Not that we don't have a shortage of projects over here, but <laughs> like that definitely maybe it might give him like that fire or that bug to get something else done around here. That would be amazing. <laughs> um, yes. Hey, Susan. Hey, Sarah. Thank you guys so much for checking in. Yeah, she said, make a mess. Keep it moving. Yeah. (laughs) Thanks to dad over at Don's Auto Cosmetics and Brewster also. I think he does a fair amount of the heavy lifting as well. (laughs) All right, Mark Anthony, we're going. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a happy Friday. Bye.